What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite camo figures. Now this was actually suggested by a friend of the channel, friend of Fig Hill, and that is at Sergeant SGT dot Cas C A S eighty two, and he um came up with this idea. I thought it was genius, something I never thought of. Plus, he's a veteran, he's a figure collector, he would know best, right? So, there's a lot of camo inspired figures that you don't really think about, right? Like these, the second um, bushwhackers with the hats. We got Corporal Kirshner over here. Um, I would even count the Truth Commission. We got Craig Pittman. We got the Broski that I showed off right there. We got these uh, Nick Gage figures. I mean, when you really dissect it like I have been before I picked my top five favorite, there are a lot of figures in pretty much every line in some way, shape, or form that are camo inspired. For instance... How about the Godwins with the camo hat? How about the camo BCA Austin? Right? There's a lot of stuff. Even a lot of the stomp figures. And how about camo carnage in the background? All of them have camo. A lot of cool stuff. Um, this is one that I forgot about. The Chase Rare Edition 1 of 3000 Jake Hager. Um, a lot of stuff has camo. How about this? Sergeant Slaughter right there. And obviously Slaughter has a ton of camo figures, but we broke it down to five of my favorites and it's all different superstars. So this is going to be a fun one. There's more camo Sarge right there. I mean, a lot of fun. So we're going to get right into it. And although this is a new one, how about these right here? The Stomp in Paradise, Matt and Brian's. From the Pro Wrestling Crate, we got them here. Uh, here's another Sarge. But my number five on the list is actually a pretty new figure. And that is the Zombie Sailor Toys. Wrestling's Heels and Faces. Series 2, Nick Gage. I love this figure. I uh, have a lot of sentimental uh, value going into Nick Gage. But this figure is the best Nick Gage ever. And the camo on it is well executed. Um, all different shades of green, black, gray. It looks beautiful. He's got the GCW logo on one side, the MDK logo on the other. Black boots. They're like Jordans. The sneakers, sorry. Um, red soles with the white wrist tape. He's got the MDK hand. The usable, it actually works. Um, pizza cutter and the light tube. He's got the hate club shirt and the red bandana with a head sculpt that is absolutely incredible. Looks just like the man. Thrilled to have this in my collection. The best Nick Gage figure. And it's beautiful. Very well done, Zombie Sailor. I have no problem giving him props, uh, you know, on this figure. It's absolutely incredible. So that is my number five favorite Nick Gage. Sorry, camo figure. It's Nick Gage. Number four, we have the Walmart exclusive Superstars, Mr. T. Um, I was back and forth between this and the Elite, his initial figure, but this is easily my favorite. I love the hands, all right, with the rings on it. He's got the chains, the cloth goods with the red sleeves. The camel on it is genius, especially for cloth, for cloth goods. He's got the sneakers with the tall socks. And a great head scan. Um, plus the removable T-belt. You gotta love it. The gauntlets. There's so much going on with this figure. And honestly, let's bring it over here. It is one of the best Superstars figures. And you guys know that I love these. There's so many good ones here. But T really stands out. There's a lot going on, like I said. He's got those gauntlets, the chains, the rings. He's got cloth goods, the belt. I mean, it's just like a very, very toyetic figure. Um, easily my favorite Mr. T figure. Number four, Mr. T. And number three, bringing it back to my childhood, we have Hasbro Sergeant Slaughter. For the time, I would say that this camo is pretty damn good. He's got the utility belt. He's got his tank top. 
the black high wrist tape. The action is awesome with the pointing finger. He's got his uh, sergeant hat, the glasses, and the head sculpt looks just like Sarge. He's making that face like he's saying, you maggot. A lot of fun. Very, very simple, right? But really brings us back to the time. The pose is awesome. And these pants were never used on anybody else. These arms are never used on anybody else. So it's a very, very unique mold for the line, which makes it even more impressive. So a lot of fun here. Sergeant Slaughter from the Hasbro line. That's number three. Number two, another one from my childhood. You saw me talk about the second set of Bushwhackers in the tan camo, but my favorite is the snow camo Bushwhackers. The white, the black, the gray, it looks incredible. This is an iconic two-pack. I mean, everybody my age had this. Even if they weren't a wrestling fan, they had this two-pack. It was that um, iconic and plentiful it was every store had it because you know they were just that that tag team that kids loved right I remember as a kid bringing them sardines but these head sculpts are incredible we got Butch here he's got the one eye popping out we got Luke here with his toothless smile the snow camo pops they're doing their signature um, bushwhacker walk Luke you move his arms he actually does the action same thing with Butch you lift the one arm the leg comes up I mean what more could you ask for in these figures? Awesome picture on the package. This is an iconic two-pack. Now, was it the most rare from this set as kids? No, it wasn't, obviously. I mean, they, these were everywhere, these and the rockers, but they were necessary for our collection. Another thing I love about this is I love that they have that old school Bushwhackers logo on it. Just so many cool things about this that I had to include this in the lineup, and it's very deserving of number two. A lot of cool figures here, but I got to say, 5, 4, 3, 2, number one is down here from the Mattel Elite Defining Moments line, Stone Cold Steve Austin from Raw, March 22nd, 1999. This figure is incredible. It's one of my most wanted figures, and I was able to get it for super cheap, just a couple bucks, and I literally mean a couple bucks, um, from a raffle, and... I, I couldn't believe I won. It was my first time entering on this uh, this account, and I won. I love this. I always love Stone Cold Steve Austin's camo. He comes with the jeans, the cloth goods Austin 316 shirt, the camo hat up there, which is you know iconic to me. I had that hat. The gold chain and the camo jacket, which I also had and still have as a kid. I, I still have as an adult. It's this figure is like the Austin to me. This is my favorite Austin of all time. I know we're going to be getting it re-released in the Monday Night Wars line, but this is my favorite camo action figure, camo wrestling action figure, Stone Cold Steve Austin Defining Moments. It's a goodie, and I can't imagine me putting anything else over this. So let's recap the list. Number five, we have Zombie Sailor Toys, Heels and Faces, Nick Gage from Series 2. Look at that head sculpt. Number 4, Superstars. Mr. T, I believe Series 4. Look at all that gold, man. He is blinging. Number 3, Hasbro, Sergeant Slaughter. I love the utility belt on this one. I don't, I, I'm trying to think, but I don't think any other Sergeant Slaughter has gotten the utility belt like that. Number 2, the Hasbro Tag Team Bushwhackers. Have them loose as well, but you got to show mint on card, right? And number one, Defining Moment Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hope you guys like this video. Comment below. Let me know your top five favorite camo figures. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FigHeel. Twitter is at TheFigHeel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia and make sure you join Whatnot at WhatHeal.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase and add some bangers like this to your collection. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining me for my top five favorite camel figures. Thank you to Sergeant Cass 82 on Instagram. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. 
featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the wrestling figure encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.